Look at that spin. Yeah. I'm gonna do a full cleaning of my reel. I actually just went to uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. You can see the video I just posted. Uh, by the time this will come out, maybe about two weeks ago. And, uh, you know, it's very salty there. So I want to do a full deep cleaning of this reel. This is something that you're going to want to do maybe once a year if you're a freshwater fisherman uh, before you put it up for the season. Or if you're a saltwater fisherman, um, you're going to want to do this a lot more regularly. Uh, this is not a quick cleaning. This is going to probably be an hour-long video. I might be able to shorten it by speeding things up a bit on the video. But generally, this takes about an hour. So um, keep that in mind. Okay, um, but I will try to keep this video as quick as possible. A um, little background, I used to work for a, a fishing store, um, and I've done quite a bit of cleaning on reels. I've taken them apart, fixed them, added more drag washers, uh, heavier duty ones, uh, whatnot. Um, I've done quite a bit of work on reels. Um, this is a Shimano. Uh, all reels are different. But generally, it's the same concept, okay? Um, they just might have a little different internal parts, okay? Um, for any real cleaning, what you're going to need is you're going to need screwdrivers, number one, to be able to get into it, um, the screwdrivers that will fit that reel. So I've got small screwdrivers here uh, for these little uh, screws here. Um, this one takes the Phillips head and a, uh, a flat uh, screwdriver. Um, to get the, at least for this one, to get the, the um, nut off this side, I think there's a few reels that don't require this, but I do have a, uh, a wrench here to be able to do that. Um, so you'll need a wrench for most reels. Um, smaller one would probably be better, but this is all I got. Uh, this one will require a larger uh, screwdriver, a flathead. Some won't, but just to give that torque to be able to get it off, sometimes uh, you need this, okay? You'll want a dedicated to cleaning screw, uh, uh, toothbrush. You don't want to get one that you've already brushed your teeth with. You don't want to brush your teeth with it afterwards because you can see it gets kind of dirty. And you definitely don't want to put toothpaste on, on this, okay? You want a clean one that's dedicated for this, okay? What really helps is Q-tips. You're going to want quite a bit of... Uh, quite a big stack here. You'll need some paper towels, a thing of soapy water, use like Dawn uh, with some warm soapy water. You don't need a lot, uh, but this will help degrease, okay? And then you'll want some real grease. I really like this cow's real grease, but you can use uh, anything. I've actually got, let's see, I've got this also, uh, Real Butter by, I think, uh, Ardent. Uh, that works really well, too. Personally, my favorite, though, is this Cows. Uh, but that is easier to apply because it's a squeeze bottle. This uh, takes a little different uh, to apply. And then some type of oil. Um, real oil, specified real oil, works really well. Almost all of them do. Um, this is actually gun oil. Hops number nine works just the same. Um, Again, you've got kind of the same type of moving parts in a gun. You've got a slide that goes back and forth really quick. Um, these move really quick. Same type of oil, this works. Um, if this is all you got, it'll be fine. Um, best to use, though, is going to be a dedicated real oil. I just don't have any with me at the moment. Um, I couldn't find it. Uh, but they make all types. So um, I think Shimano themselves, when you, when you get their reels, they come with some oil. Um, which is nice, uh, and you can use that, and that'll definitely work great for this. Other thing you want is tape, um, and this is uh, just to tape up the reel so the line isn't going every which way. Depending on how your reel works, with this one, with uh, Shimano's new system, uh, this is a Corrado, by the way, you just slide that little button up, pops that up, and you got access to your spool. So, 
once you get the spool out, as you can see, the line goes every which way. So you're going to want to reel up the line here. And sorry if I'm out of the camera every once in a while. It's just kind of tough to do this in the camera. You're going to want to put a little piece of tape on there. So you want to set that aside. We're going to start unscrewing the reel. Now see, it's a little tight there. There we go. Once you kind of get that started, you can use your smaller screwdriver to get that off. Okay, so a little trick. When you are taking things off your reel, you want to do it in order and place them down so you know where they go. These parts are different in each part of the, the reel. So I put that down. I can pop this off. Okay. And I know that screw goes with that piece. As you can see, we've got a uh, this piece here that we need a wrench. And then hold with your two fingers and unscrew that because you don't want everything popping off. Now put that aside. Again, we're going in order here as you can see. Okay? I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Um, we're going in order there. So as you go to pull this off, you can see this wants to pop off. Okay? You don't want it shooting all over the place. So now we've got our handle. Okay? We have our drag wheel, the spring, and then this washer. So these washers here are going to go in order. You want to make sure you put them back on order, in order. So as you take this off, you'll see also that these two, so you've got a a screw washer here. You've got, uh, I don't even know if you call that a washer, but um, something that screws these washers on. Okay, a nut, there we go, you got a nut. Um, you've got a um, copper washer, and then you've got these uh, two little washers that they're curved a little bit. It's kind of hard to see maybe on camera, but they've got a bit of a curve to them. You want to make sure that these aren't facing the same direction when you put it back on. As you can see, that, that will actually, these are there to give tension. So when you screw this down, screw down your wheel, you're actually putting tension on these when they're stuck opposite of each other like that. Okay, and that is what gives pressure to the drag. So you want to make sure those are opposite um, on there. Okay, so now we're down, we've got the handle components off, okay? And we're going to take off the spool tensioner. Um, and then you've got this that basically you want to rotate out, okay? Pull that aside, but again, we're keeping everything in order. You want to make sure that you know where those pieces go. So, now it's time to get the side plate off. These, all these screws are going to be different in size. You want to make sure you put them on the right order. So I'm actually going to put, I'm going to make a new row here, okay, for where I'm putting everything, just so I know where they go. And you're going to want to do the same thing. And put them down how you would remember. So I am, I'm going from top down down. Okay, so I'm going to put that one actually to the left of this one, and this one then will go in the center. I'm going to pop this one off. At least most of these. I actually, I don't even think I've taken this one apart ever. Um, it's kind of new. I've only had this for maybe eight months, so this is the first time I've taken it apart. That was the first time I took it to salt water, so um, those actually look like they might be the same actually. They changed that. They used to all be different. And you've got one more back here. A 
wrap there. So, all right. So there's the side plate that came off. And you're going to want to just set this to the side. There's a few components in here. You can see. And we will start taking that off in a row there. So you've got a anti-reverse washer, or I'm sorry, a bearing here. A little tight. So that, now, when that came out, you want to make sure that you put that in, go in the right direction, because, again, you're going to anti-reverse the wrong way. So when I popped that out, I saw it landed like that. I'm going to want to make sure that goes back in that way. So keep that in mind. Okay? And now you can see all that oil and grease in there, um, which probably is filled with salt water, in this reel, at least. Um, so... Uh, then we've got, oh, this is interesting. So this actually has a two bearing system for the spool. So there's one bearing. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to work with that in there. So I'm gonna set this side plate aside and we're gonna start taking apart these components here. So this is your drag washers and gears, okay? Take that one off. Now, these kind of look all different. I don't really have a problem with not putting them in order, but you might want to the first time you take a part of reel, so you know, okay? So put them in order. Um, and these are pretty much the same as the, the old Shimano's. Uh, it's all the kind of the same system there. Uh, seems like these are a little uh, finer gears, which is good, and that's why this is a pretty smooth reel. So once those come off, then we've got um, the spool release here, this system, and that all pops off. You've got two springs, okay? Now let's make another row so we know that those all go together, okay? So we're going to put those down like that. So you want to make sure that this, you don't ever flip over, because then it won't release properly. It's got to be face that direction, okay? And this also has to be face that direction. All right, and there's a lot of grease on that, so I'm going to wipe my hands, make sure I'm not getting it on other stuff. Okay, and then we are going to now take off the <clears throat> the shaft here. And a second screw. Again, make sure those are in order. You put those with the... Hmm. That should just pop out. But it ain't. So I wonder if they've got a different system now that doesn't allow for that to come out very easily. Those used to just pop out after you did that. All right, well, I'm going to leave that for now. I might have to look up the manual to see how that pops out. Maybe it's... Uh, they might keep you from popping that out. I'm not sure. Look at that salt buildup. That is really bad for gears. And Now we've got two screws here, okay, and this is for the, the other part of the um, of the free spool release. I'm actually going to put those over with this whole system here, so I know. And there we go. And that piece pops off. I'll put those together. Now we've got oh, let's see. Well, that's a new type of system. Alright. So we've got now this little lever that goes with that. I'll put that over here. And then this plastic thing, which is pretty much the same that they've had uh, all along. They always had this lever, it's just shaped a little different. Okay. And... It used to have a little spring there, I thought. Hope I didn't just pop that spring and shoot it somewhere. Um, oh, all right, there's that spring that I was talking about. I, there is a spring. All right, and we've got a... Another spool bearing here. 
I'm gonna pop that out. 